Hey everybody. Um, so the uh, the conclusion of the uh, subscriber giveaway. Um, I uh, so I, I I hit a um, hundred hundred subscribers, uh, and that was like really cool for me. <laughs> I know there's people who have like you know millions of subscribers or whatever, but I wanted to you know celebrate and. Um, so I did like a little subscriber giveaway thing where um, I had some minis that I had painted and then uh, I had a bunch of um, chain rasps and um, like little um, skeletons, some GW skeletons, legions of uh, Nagash, um, like just troops, you know? And, uh, and I was using them for, well, I have plans of making a Grand Alliance death army at some point for Age of Sigmar, but you know, I'm using them for like Frostgrave and Warcry and stuff like that, like skirmish games, you know. And um, so uh, <clears throat> I had, but I had way more of them than I needed. <laughs> so I, I did a video where I was talking about how I was going to give one of those away if, if somebody wanted one or they could like send me a mini and, and I would paint it and we could do a video about it and um, so and I, and I promise you know because I, I know I have um, uh, international subscribers I have uh, a lot of subscribers in like Europe you know like um, France, uh, Dutch, um, Polish uh, I have I have some Chinese subscribers, you know, like Brazilian, um, and um, so I uh, I was like, if we're if you know if I have to ship it internationally, I was like, it's one mini, I'll figure it out, um, and and sure enough, uh, the the people I, I I told people say I said, pick a number between one and a hundred and put it in the comments, you know, and if somebody else has your number, just pick a different number. And then I'm going to roll some dice for it. And the only person, everybody else is like, there's a bunch of people who put in words of encouragement saying, you know, like, hey, you know, I really enjoy your channel. I don't need anything, but I really like this one skeleton. He looks cool. And then they wouldn't put a number, you know, in the comments or anything like that. Or people said, you know, I'm good, but I would like to see more Frostgrave bow reports. <laughs> So the one person who actually put a number in the comment, his name is uh, Jer Jerion, Jerion Griffith. And, uh, and when I first saw it, I was like, either that's like some kind of creative handle or he's probably like French or Dutch. <laughs> and uh, sure enough, he's Dutch. And uh, Jer Jerion, I think is like the, you know, um, like, the, the French version of Jeremy is Jerome. So I think Jerion is like, it's like J Jeremy, you know, the, would be the Anglication of, of the same name. And um, so I wanted to ship safely to him. You know, I figured out how to do it. Cost $14 to ship one single mini to, uh, to where he lives in uh, Netherlands. But, um, yeah, um, anyways, but I promised that I would do it, and we talked about it, and I got him, I wanted, I asked him, I was like, Jaren, can you send me, um, a picture when he gets there, uh, if you have, like, some books or something, you know, anything with, with something Dutch on it, you know, just take a picture of him next to it, show me that he got there safely with all of his limbs intact, you know, and, like, swords and everything and nothing's snapped off, no paints damaged or anything like that. Because I wanted to make sure that I did a good job of packing him. And then I decided to make a video about it, about how to ship miniatures internationally safely. <laughs> because it's more complicated than you would think. Um, and so, you know, I'm not saying that, that you're necessarily even going to do like a commission piece where you you need to ship it safely and, and you, you want to preserve that paint job because, I mean, if you paid for a good paint job, you know, 
and then it showed up and like the guy's arms were snapped off or something. And these skeletons in, you know, night haunts, they have a lot of like very flimsy connections because they're made of bones or like the night haunts, they're little, you know, they're like trilly wisps of whatever, you know. Um, but how, I mean, how many times does it happen to you if you buy miniatures off of like eBay or whatever, where, you know, you've got, they, they take them, they, they put them in a, in a, in a Ziploc bag and then they, you know, put it in, throw it in a box. And if you're lucky, if you're lucky, they put some, you know, like bubble wrap or like some styrofoam peanuts, you know, or something in there. Um... But like, and I only feel safe doing that with these because these are, they're like ABS plastic and not, they aren't like the, um, the you know, it's, they're, they're like bendy plastic. And like GW plastic is, is not bendy plastic. You know, you can easily snap stuff off. And it's happened to me a lot where I bought lots off of eBay and, you know, spears or arms or whatever just snapped off um so anyways i'm going to show you how to safely pack your minis for shipping without snapping any parts off and and keeping the paint job safe okay so this is the mini that uh jerry picked out <laughs> and um so what i'm going to do first is i'm just going to wrap them in a little bit of cling wrap um, uh, this is just like, it's the, it's cling wrap. I don't even know, I don't know what you call it in other countries. <laughs> um, but, uh, it's just, it's just going to protect the, uh, the paint job. Um, it's just going to be like one little layer of protection for the paint job, but it's also going to kind of hold, um, everything in place for shipping. Um, so... After I've done that, then I'm going to wrap him in something else. Um, so I, you know, I keep boxes sometimes, like I, I hang on to um, boxes when people ship me stuff just because I'm a pack rat and, um, but uh, I also hang on to like shipping materials, uh, like bubble wrap and styrofoam peanuts. And um, this would totally be good. This, this would totally be good for anywhere inside the United States. Um, but <laughs> I found this out when I tried to ship to the Netherlands. Um, you need to have a customs form on your box. And the customs form is pretty large. And if you have a small box, it has to fit on the box. I know it's dumb. It's dumb. So the workaround is that um, instead of using the box, I'm going to use one of these little, um, I got this thing at Walmart and it's like, I got it to put like cards in, you know, for, um, for games like just whenever the, it's, it's actually like sort of deck of card sized. So, um, but it is going to add, it's going to do a really good job of, um, protecting this guy. And then I'm going to throw that in a shipping envelope. Um, and then it's basically, you know, the postal post office, they're just, they're bureaucrats, you know, like they, they, they just, they have a job to do. They can't just have a smaller form for a smaller package to ship internationally. They, they have to do things their way. So, and you don't even want to know how much UPS tried to charge me to, to ship this guy. It was, it was obscene. It would make your head spin. Um, so anyways, yeah, so I'm just going to, I'm going to do the same thing. Um, and I'm going to, I especially want to make sure that I'm protecting just the little sword. You know, because that's that's the part that's kind of sticking out the most. And then I'm going to go ahead and snap this guy together. And, you know, this little pencil box thing, it was only a dollar. So, you know, big deal.
But uh, here's some pictures that Jerrion sent me, just to show that everything showed up safely. My favorite is him waving his uh, Dutch flag. It's very patriotic. But yeah, as you can see from the close-up shots, everything showed up fine. You know, he is in great shape. And uh, it took like about a week to ship there. So that's a lot of banging around and so, you know, airplanes and trunks of some poor, you know, postman's car. But, uh, but yeah, so Jerrion, I hope that uh, I didn't butcher your name too much. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. And just keep that in mind when you're, if you're, when you're shipping your next minis, that that's a good way to protect them. It's just to wrap them in a little bit of cling wrap and then toss them in some bubble wrap or some styrofoam peanuts and that'll do the job. So yeah, all right, take care guys.